Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Dave, I'm a data scientist, and in this video, I will show you how to install Homebrew on your Mac. If you're a data scientist or software developer working on Mac, then Homebrew is definitely a must to install. So what is Homebrew? Well, Homebrew is basically a package manager for Mac OS. You can think of Homebrew as an app store that you can access through the terminal. Or if you're familiar with Python, it's basically the pip for Mac OS. You can use it to install command line tools, programming languages, or other utilities that you need for software development. Now installing Homebrew is actually really straightforward. All you have to do is go to brew.sh, link will be in the description, and now all all you have to do is copy the line over here by clicking on this little icon, open up a terminal and paste this command and hit enter. Little tip, if you have never installed Xcode, you might have to run the following command first before you can actually install Homebrew. This will install the command line tools on your Mac. If you want to know more about Xcode before installing it on your system, I'll put the link down in the description. It will ask you to answer your password, so I'll fill in my password and hit enter. Then it will tell you what the script is about to install and you can continue by hitting enter. The software will now install on your system. So let's just wait for it to finish. Do do wait for it to finish. The installation is successful. Okay, so now there are two steps left. It says here in the terminal that I still have to run these two commands. Now this might be different in your situation, so carefully check what kind of instructions you see in the terminal. So I'm getting a message here. Next steps, run these two commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. So I will do that right now. So I'll copy the first line, command C, paste it here in the terminal, hit enter. So that is one. Then I'll do the other one, highlight this line over here, command C, paste it over here and enter. Okay, and that's it. Now it's time to validate the installation. You can validate whether brew is installed properly by running brew in the terminal. This will show you some examples of how to use brew. All right, now I'll show you some basic commands and how to install software. So first of all, if you want to know more about homebrew, I recommend checking out the website. It has an excellent documentation. So here on the homepage from the homebrew website, it shows you how to get started with homebrew. So one of the most basic commands is brew install plus the app name. This will install new packages. Here it explains how you can use cask to install, for example, Firefox. There's also a list of all the packages that are available via homebrew. And as you can see, this is quite an extensive list. It goes on and on. You can also search here. So for example, if I type in MySQL, it will show you how to install MySQL using brew. As a data scientist, I mainly use homebrew to install programming languages such as Python, install databases like MySQL, Postgres, or InfluxDB. And I also use homebrew to install visualization tools like Grafana, but there's so much more you can do with homebrew. So I'll start off by typing brew list, which will show you a list of all the packages that are currently installed. This returns an empty list since we've just installed homebrew. What I will now do is I will install Python 3, which we can do by running brew install Python, and this will install Python 3 on your system. So let's wait for it to finish. All right, so the installation is complete and we can see that Python is installed in this directory. So let's open it up. We now have a homebrew folder on our system with the Python installation. Let's clear up the terminal. Let's run brew list again. Now it tells us that we have Python 3.9 installed on our system and it also installed some other dependencies. All right, let's now show an example of how to install regular applications using homebrew. So we took the example of Firefox from the homepage. Let's copy and paste this command and enter. All right, the installation is complete. Firefox was successfully installed and it also moves it to the application folder. So now if we look for Firefox and there we have the application. And I think it's really awesome that you can just install applications right from the terminal. All right, and that's it. You now know how to install Homebrew on your Mac and use it to install tools and applications. Now, this is by no means an in-depth tutorial on how to use Homebrew, but it should be enough to get you started. Check out the website and documentation for other useful commands that you can use. I will also put some more useful commands down here in the description. Now, if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more videos related to Python, data science and machine learning. So if that's something you're interested in, you should definitely subscribe. See you next time.